In this video, we're going to look at four strategies to help you write in professional style. Put simply, professional style helps you to communicate your message efficiently and effectively to a busy audience. Effective communication skills are fundamental in the workplace because written communications, such as reports, serve a specific purpose. They are often used by colleagues, managers or clients to make important decisions. Also, professional documents can have a wide readership. You might be writing for people who don't have the same background knowledge as you, so you need to be able to explain complex ideas clearly and simply. If what you've written is unclear or imprecise, your audience may not follow or, worse still, misunderstand your intended meaning. So let's look at four practical and easy strategies to help you write in professional style. First, use simple language. Simple words are clear and easy to understand. Choose words that most people would know or use regularly. This will make your writing clear to a wide audience. Take a look at the two sentences below. B is much clearer than A because it uses simple, commonly used words like tried instead of endeavoured. Avoid jargon, as it tends to be specific to particular groups and can be hard for outsiders to those groups to understand. For example, acceptance is clearer than buy-in, deep dive simply means thorough, and cutting edge is easier to understand if we say new. Second, be specific. Avoid words with vague or multiple meanings and use quantification. Being specific and precise means your reader understands exactly what you need them to and helps to avoid misinterpretation. Take a look at example A. The word impacted is vague. We don't know what the impact on staff retention was. Was it positive or negative? We also have no idea of the size of the impact, the time period it occurred in, why the change occurred, or what type of investment was made. Now, take a look at example B. It's much more precise. It tells us the impact was positive, an increase, quantifies it so we know the size, 15%, gives us the time frame, explains what led to the improvement, and also how much was invested. Third, be concise. Remember your readers don't have time to waste. Delete words that mean or add little. Replace longer phrases with single words if possible. For example, both A and B give the same information, but sentence A has eight words and B only has two. Use strong verbs rather than nouns. In this example, using the strong verb analyzed rather than the noun analysis plus the verb conducted cuts the word count from seven to four. Limit there is are and it is important, significant, imperative phrases. This helps to focus the topic of your sentence and reduce words. Take a look at the examples below. In these cases, the introductory phrases add little meaning. The fourth and final strategy, use active voice and limit passive voice. Active voice tends to be much clearer and more concise, so how do we do it? In active voice, the subject, which is a noun or pronoun of the sentence, performs the action, the verb. Here we can see that the subject is the team and the action is review. It's very clear who's doing what. Compare this to the example in passive voice. It has a very long, complex subject, meaning we don't find out what's being done until the end of the sentence. We also don't know who is responsible for the review. But if we add in by the team, it becomes clunky and wordy. So let's sum up. We've discussed four key strategies to help you write in professional style. Write simply, be specific, concise, and stick to active voice. Next time you're writing or editing professional communications, keep them in mind. Good luck. For more tips and advice, to register for workshops or events, or to find out what's happening in academic skills, visit our website.